Hello, my friends. My name is Mark Sarris. I'm CEO of GoLedger, a company that is specializes in blockchain development. This is going to be the first of a set of videos regarding GoFabric, a Hyperledger Fabric blockchain orchestrator. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about Hyperledger Fabric concepts, and we are going to explain uh, some of the main uh, items, some of the main features of Hyperledger Fabric technology. Hyperledger Fabric is a permission blockchain framework that's being maintained by Hyperledger Foundation community and it's being used uh, widely around the world, especially for corporate projects. And it provides several tools in order for you to create, develop, and manage a corporate blockchain networks. It's been known by its shared governance model, and it uh, has several features regarding scalability and privacy uh, around blockchain networks. One of the most important concepts of Hyperledger Fabric is the concept of a channel. Basically, one channel consists in one distributed blockchain ledger. It is permission, and it means that in order for anyone to register or to commit a transaction inside this blockchain, uh, the certificate, the digital certificate that signs these transactions needs to be previously allowed in order for this committing to be successful. So basically all the transactions will be stored in blocks like any other blockchain. And we will have two types of block, blocks. Basically application blocks, that's the blocks that have all the information around that's been registered uh, for by uh, smart contracts that in Hyperledger Fabric they are called chain codes. And we will also have configuration blocks that are going to have all the transactions regarding the management of this channel and of the blockchain network as well. So uh, like any other blockchain, the Hyperledger Fabric provides a way to store the, all the transactions and all the blocks inside blockchain nodes. Uh, the main blockchain nodes that store the information regarding the blockchains, that's the, basically the channels, are the peers. There are basically peers are the blockchain nodes that's being uh, set up by Hyperledger Fabric in order for them to store and also to have other functions that we will see further. It's very important to understand how Hyperledger Fabric provides trust inside a blockchain network. And the first concept that's important to understand is the concept of uh, one organization. Uh, Hyperledger Fabric works around a public key infrastructure, a PKI, and one organization is attached to one or more certification authorities that emit several digital certificates that will have at their own uh, reliable key pairs in order for you to sign the transactions that are going to be sent by to the blockchain network. And the concept, the, the consensus uh, inside Hyperledger Fabric requires that one or more uh, organization signs the same transaction. And basically when you find one transaction inside the blockchain network that has been signed by several organizations, we will understand that's basically the endorsing that's necessary for you to have a reliable uh, register inside this network. This is what they call their endorsing policy. Basically, the, there are the rules of minimal signing regarding the consensus of Hyperledger Fabric. When you compare Hyperledger Fabric to other uh, blockchain technology, this is one of the main differentials that you might find when you compare to other technologies, for example, like Ethereum or Solana or Cardano, because several other blockchain technologies uses cryptocurrency, use crypto assets to provide stress. And that's not the case about uh, Hyperledger Fabric blockchain networks. So for example, if, if you compare how Ethereum provides trust, it uses several, uh, several artifacts regarding Ether, regarding its cryptocurrency, 
to either to uh, execute the smart contracts or to provide or to validate the blocks inside these blockchain networks. And that's very different from what we find uh, about Hyperledger Fabric. It does not, Hyperledger Fabric does not use cryptocurrency and use these endorsing policies to provide a reliable register inside the networks. Hyperledger Fabric transaction flow, it's used to change, update, create, delete assets or asset values inside blockchain network. And it consists on a set of four steps. Execute the transaction inside the smart contracts, order this transaction inside the blocks, validate the blocks and the transaction themselves, and at the end, update all the states of the blockchain network. As we can see here in this example, we have one, one asset with four pro, three properties, where the ID, name, and age. And after the transaction flow, the state, the initial state of the asset change to have new properties in order to uh, update all the information inside the blockchain network. Hyperledger Fabric smart contracts are responsible for creating transaction proposal at the execution phase. Hyperledger Fabric provides three options for programming languages, Golang, Node.js, and Java. Chain codes are usually executed inside the peer, and whenever you store one chain code inside the peer, this peer will be labeled as one endorsing peer. Each peer for the Hyperledger Fabric framework will belong to one organization. That means that it will, have, it will have a digital certificate stored inside these components. Basically, this digital certificate will be emitted by one certification authority that is attached to one organization. After the execution of the chain code method inside the, the peer, it will create a transaction proposal that will be signed by this digital certificate that's attached to this peer. And doing so, we say that the organization just endorsed the transaction that's being proposal, proposed to be stored, to be registered inside the blockchain network. There is one type of Hyperledger Fabric node that is responsible for the order phase. And it is the order node. Like the peer, the order also uh, belongs to one organization. That means it will have one digital certificate stored inside its components. And will, it will receive the several signage transaction proposal from different peers, from different gateways. And it will be responsible for stack and order all these transactions. And doing so, it will create the blocks. It will have some of some arguments, uh, some uh, definitions, in order to create the the blocks. And after that, after the block creation, you will send each block to the encore peers. Basically, the encore peers are the peers in the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain network that are responsible for communicating with order in order to receive the blocks that has been created. For the validate and update phase, after the anchor peer received the block from the orders, they will broadcast these blocks to other peers. Then each peer will verify each transaction inside the blocks. If they satisfy the endorsing policy, if the asset is consistency, we'll check all the timestamps, all the values that are uh, stored, they are changed for each transaction. If the transaction is satisfied, so basically the state that is attached to this transaction will be updated. Otherwise, this transaction will, will, it will be labeled as denied, and then the, all, this transaction will not change any state inside the blockchain network. Now that you already understand the basic concepts of Hyperledger Fabric blockchain network, you're ready to start using GoFabric and create your own networks in order to receive the benefits of the blockchain technology for your projects and legacy systems. We will have more contents available at our YouTube channel, and we hope you like it. 
For those who like it, please consider subscribing.